gonna push my body down, my chest out. Hey guys, how's it going? Nick and Ibrahim here. And welcome to another episode of Pro Wrestling Holds Made Into Real Moves. Today we are covering John Cena's SDF. So here's Bruce Lee's book. Here he covers toe holds. And a variety of neck cranks. So you know my advice is totally legit. So just remember guys, so we're going to just uh, do this in grappling context. So if you're doing some sort of grappling competition where th these type of maneuvers are not illegal. <laughs> Okay guys, so where we're gonna take this from is from a double hook, uh, double underhook back take. So we're gonna be dealing with this position and somebody stalling, all right? So at this position, uh, somebody would wanna take your back or flip you over. From here, we don't really have to worry about them coming over for the neck, all right? They are focusing on control with the double unders. So they're not going for a seat belt or that. That's the situation, okay? Cool. Double unders is a lot more controlling than, than a seat belt, and it makes back takes quite a bit easy, actually. So from here, uh, what would happen is I would drop this knee in, sit, tilt my opponent, and then proceed to take the back. Yeah? And then I would work my way to a seat belt and finish the choke. So this is the situation that we're dealing with. So what I want to do, okay, is make sure that my opponent is stalling and not going for the back. And if they're stalling, that gives me the opportunity to attack this. All right, so what I do is I take my hand closest to my opponent and I get my hand to the floor. From here, I'm gonna shift and I'm gonna get elbow deep. All right, and you can see Ibrahim already broke his grips and he can tell you this feels very uncomfortable with the knee already because I'm pulling it towards me. That cranks the knee, all right. Cool, so from here, I'm gonna pick his foot up. Okay, keeping his knee on the ground, and here I keep it tight, and I switch. He shouldn't already be dropping, all right? But from here, I get my leg in, and I hook it. I've got this, all right? I'm keeping tight on his foot. The toe hold, I'm gonna sink this in. All right, so if he's still on all fours, this is where I'm gonna sink my weight into him and get him flat on his belly. So this way his mobility is severely compromised. All right, so here I've got a lot of control. So this position, hips are down, they're not very mobile. I've got them pinned on their belly, all right? So, here's the thing. If he is on his hands and he's sticking his chin out, that gives me the opportunity to start attacking for a choke. All right, and I can squeeze, twist. All right, very brutal, cool. But if they know anything, they're gonna keep their chin tucked and they're gonna keep low. All right, this way I can't attack a choke. It's gonna make it very difficult. However, I can neck crank him. If you can break the neck, always proceed to break the neck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knuckle down. I'm gonna drive across his chin and get my forearm through. From here, I'm gonna go for like a baseball type choke configuration, get my gable grip, and I'm gonna push my body down, my chest out, and proceed to screw up his jaw and crank his neck. Let's do that one more time. I'm internal, he proceeds to get double unders. I'm doing everything to protect myself. I get my hand around, he's stalling. I get elbow deep, I twist, I lift up, I get my foot between, I drive down, I proceed to get my forearm driving his chin, baseball choke configuration, drive, make him feel pain. You're right. So Ibi over there just felt a cramp in his leg. This does suck, all right? This is how you can use John Cena's SDF in real life. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment down below on what 
professional wrestling hold we can do next to turn into a real submission. Thanks again, guys, and until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.